Scientific disciplines such as earth science, biology, chemistry, and physics are based on observation and experiment. That's why scientists spend a lot of time in the laboratory. Scientists use the laboratory to make routine observations or to put experiments to the test. Because observations or experiments often involve highly specialized technical procedures, the lab can be hazardous. That's why it's necessary to dress in a manner that is safe for you and the other people around you. Let's find out how to dress appropriately for a science lab experiment. It's best to carry out safe lab practices so that accidents never happen. But if an accident does happen, its effects will be reduced and minimized by wearing personal protective equipment, or PPE for short. This is why it's vital to wear the right type of clothing for lab safety. Correct clothing for the lab provides a barrier between your skin and various hazards. It's easy to imagine what could go wrong in the lab. Loose fitting, baggy clothing, scarves and ties, or unbuttoned jackets or sweaters should be avoided. Loose fitting clothes, scarves and ties can get caught in lab equipment or machinery. Shorts, t-shirts and tank tops leave skin exposed, increasing the potential for injury. If skin is unprotected, a minor incident could become a severe lab accident. The scientist in the lab is better off with less exposed skin. Long pants and long sleeve shirts are an important first line of defense. This everyday attire provides a layer of defense and provides some protection from dangerous chemicals, sharp objects, and other potential dangers. Wear clothing that makes sense in the lab. Remember to dress for safety. Sensible footwear is also an important defense against potential injury. To protect your feet, wear closed-toed shoes with low heels. Casual shoes or sneakers are fine. Work boots will offer even more protection. These will protect against spills or objects being dropped. In the lab, sandals or flip-flops should never be worn. Likewise, high heels should be avoided since they increase the risk of slipping and falling. Open shoes such as these greatly increase the risk of injury especially when glassware or dangerous chemicals are involved. You should also be sure to protect your hair. Long hair poses many dangers in a laboratory setting. Hair can catch fire, or it could be exposed to toxic chemicals, possibilities that are more likely with long hair. If you have long hair, you should have it tied back and out of the way. Your eyes are the most sensitive and perhaps important exposed part of your body. When you're working with chemicals or reactions that can burn, explode or implode, or substances or containers that can shatter or break. Safety glasses or safety shields are a must for your personal protection equipment. Safety glasses and shields will protect your eyes against any flying debris or drops of liquid that may splatter. When dealing with chemicals, heat or sharp objects, your hands are at the most risk. With certain experiments, it's important to protect your hands. Gloves provide a barrier between your skin and the materials you're working with. Aprons are another PPE that can add another line of defense, protecting your skin and clothing from chemical spills. We all want to look good, but that's not a priority in the lab. That's why you should avoid dangling jewelry, such as earrings or necklaces. These can get caught in machinery or interfere with handling chemicals or equipment. The laboratory is a safe place when you're dressed appropriately, enabling you to focus on the enjoyment of learning and discovering, rather than worrying about potential hazards.